Hi everybody, I thought I would do a quick video just to share with you how uh, kind of my head has been with with having a stoma and how it's kind of changed over the last, um, what, eight months that, since I've had it. So um, before, before all this happened, I was aware of people who had stomas, but I had never seen one myself. I didn't know, like, what they were like. Um, I could only imagine what I thought it was like. So when I got told I would have one, I think in theory I understood because they were, like, the stoma nurse that came to see me, they were talking talking practicalities like marking where based on where my waistband normally sits in the hospital she was like uh, you left or right handed blah 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 and based on certain things certain answers to questions they choose where about in your abdomen to put to put it so a lot a lot of the chat before it was kind of just high level stuff and then what practically happens afterwards like we'll change the bags for you until you feel you're ready and then you won't get discharged from hospital until you're deemed con competent when it comes to changing your stomach bags and things so like I don't think I didn't feel positive or negative about it in the first week that I was in hospital because I was flung in at the deep end and I was probably drugged up and still dealing with some of the problems that happened after the operation like my um, bad reaction to one of the pain meds and my low potassium and things and then after I left hospital probably the first six to eight weeks I absolutely hated having a stoma. I literally was like counting down the weeks until my surgeon had said, you'll probably be due for a reversal at the end of the year. So I was like, one month down, 11 to go, that kind of stuff. And then it's kind of, well, I, th I guess when once I hit chemo and things, you know, my focus changed again. Um, things seemed to settle with my stoma uh, up to a point. It was a bit up and down with the chemo drugs, but I, I was too busy dealing with the side effects and coming to grips with the fact that I was having to go through chemotherapy in the first place that the stoma kind of became secondary and it, I just kind of got into a rhythm of changing it and having to accept certain things about having them and then I've I've kind of found probably the last week couple of weeks there's been this creep back into not quite countdown but just oh I can't wait until this is gone and I, I can go back to my normal process again my normal poo process and I think so I think it's for a couple of different reasons. Um, to give you an example, so when I'm spending time with anybody that's longer than a couple of hours, because it because quite a lot of the time the stoma does its business and I can't physically feel it because there's no nerve endings in um your intestine, so most of I would say three quarters of the time I, I don't know when it's done its business. I only know when I do do this and I can feel whether there's stuff in the bag or not. And, you know, I'll if I'm spending time with my family, um, because they live a, an hour or so's drive away, normally if we go up, you know, we're up there for half a day or a full day and I kind of find myself like, during the day having to check and then if it's really full I'm having to go away and empty it and then you know some 
sometimes there's issues and I'm having to flush the toilet lots and stuff. You don't need to know the detail, trust me. But I kind of find like I'm checking quite a lot and there's been a few times because they're my family and I'm comfortable I'll maybe do this but I'll maybe also have a look um because less for how full it is but if I get any any even tiny scent of poo smell even if it's not a normal smell I still feel like I have to check and make sure there's no leakage because that sometimes happens with the bag and if you catch it early really quick then it's fine nothing you know you you don't really get anything normally most of the time I've been able to catch it early so it just is a quick bag change and then that's me done so I think just like feeling like I'm having to check and any whiff of poo smell I'm like on red alert and um like I was in the car today driving and I was going to a family gathering so I had jeans on with a belt and the belt cuts across right across the stoma hole so when I was driving home I was like my belt undone and my jeans undone um just to take some pressure off my large intestine that was sticking out so there's just it's like small menial things that in the grand scheme of things don't really matter and if I had to live with it I would but I think because I know you know there's an extremely high chance that it'll all be reversed and I'll be able to go back to normal and I'll just have a little scar here hopefully on top of my big long one um just these little things kind of get annoying and not having any control at all about when it's doing its business and how long and stuff is quite hard to get your head around when you're when you're an adult you know you expect that for kids like babies um and maybe really really older people who might have issues with control but you don't expect that for somebody that's in their 30s and um, so you know I'm lucky I live in a time where we've got the technology that I have bags that just stick on and I don't need to worry most of the time about it it's just these little moments during the day that sometimes happen that I am different from everybody else and I have to take into account a few extras that no one else really has to think about unless they have a stoma too. So yeah, that was the thoughts for today. Um, it's a weird one, but that's the life of a stoma person. So um think I've got so if we are doing countdown we are mid-August so I'm hoping I'll have what, four or five months left and then you'll get phase three um, of the journey which is the reversal or the rescans um, and the camera checks and stuff and then my reversal so that'll be interesting to see how that goes but um, I'm enjoying just taking some months without any drugs um, or any operations or anything that, that are booked in. Just give my body and my head some time to recover. So um, four or five months to go. Looking forward to um, getting back to normal, but also trying to enjoy these weeks and months between now and the end of the year. Uh, after going through a bit of a traumatic what 18 months or something like that so yeah keep soldiering on i'll see you in the next video